Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and this is how to make a driving and racing game in Unity 5. Welcome to episode 2. So last episode, if you remember, we created this nice terrain here, playing around a little bit, creating, raising sections. This episode, we're going to focus more on the terrain by texturing it, so we'll be using materials as well. We'll bring in a car to drive around on here, and we'll also finish the tutorial by looking at the main camera here. So firstly, let's bring in some textures. So down here, we've got Assets, let's right click, Create, and let's go to Folder. Call it Textures. Double click on that folder to bring you into it. And then if you head to the website, head to Downloads and Assets, you can download uh, these three textures right here. Drag and drop them into Unity. It'll take just a second to bring in. There we go. Now we have these textures, we've got to decide which one is going to be the base texture. Now a base texture for a terrain is one that will cover the entire thing. So I'm going to choose, let's say, I'm going to choose the grass as the main default texture. So on the little paint tool here, go to edit textures and add texture. And then drag and drop this grass texture into this first box here. This is the actual texture itself. This one is for a normal map, which we're going to create in just a second. But for now, we'll leave metallic as zero, smoothness as zero, and we'll leave the size as 15 by 15. Just click add. And you'll see it's textured it fairly well for us. So now let's create a normal map. If we go to the grass at 001 itself, we can use a nice keyboard command here, which duplicates whatever you have selected. So if you hold down control and press D, it will duplicate that particular texture. It auto renames it, but what I'm going to do is press F2, change it back to grass 001, underscore N. Now that N represents normal map. So I'm going to hit enter on that to confirm the name change. And then over here in your inspector panel, you should see an option called texture type. It's set to default, but if you click the drop down list, the second one down should say normal map. Now, as we go into this, I'll explain what a normal map does. When we click, click apply, it will turn that texture kind of purple looking color. Now, the way a normal map works is it kind of, I suppose it reflects a little of what's going on, but it, uh, for it to work properly, a normal map needs light. And as we have a directional light in here, it will work as intended. So to get that working, click back on your terrain, make sure you're on your paint texture tool, click on your grass, click on edit textures, and then click on edit texture, and then drag and drop this normal map into the second box. Now it may go somewhat darker for you. So let's zoom in to have a look what exactly has happened. So all that's happened here is it has made the grass look slightly more realistic rather than pastely coloured. If we were to click on select and click none, it makes it look that pastely sort of colour. So let's have that grass 001 as a normal map on there. Now you can change the metallic look of it. And you can change the smoothness to give it the kind of effect you want. If you change it like this, you can kind of give a, a bit of a, a wet sort of look. But we'll be dealing with that at some other point when we come to putting asphalt in and having weather effects in our game. So for now, I'm going to have metallic as zero and smoothness as zero as well. And click apply. Now there's a different way you can have a normal map. You can tick create from grayscale and that will change it quite drastically. So click apply and you'll see it does that. It's up to you how you want your grass to actually look, how you know how you want your game to look visually. So I would recommend playing around with it to see different things. Another option you've got to change how it actually looks is on the settings of the terrain just here. You can change it on the material. By default, it's built in standard. And let's change it to built in legacy diffuse. You can see it's given it a much more of a lush look to it, a brighter, vibrant look. Uh, so it's up to you which one you want to choose here. If you go on built-in Legacy Specular, you'll see it gives it that much more kind of bright feel. It's just worth playing around in. You can also change the specular colour. Obviously, 
this will affect mainly how the light is coming on to the terrain itself. So I am going to put it back as built-in standard just for now. And I'm going to leave it like that. So next thing what we'll do is let's create some asphalt. So let's go on edit textures on our paint tool. Let's go on add texture and let's drag and drop asphalt 001. Uh, let's create a normal map for it as well. So control and D to duplicate F2 and let's rename that 001 underscore N. And now let's change the texture type up here to normal map and I'm just going to click on apply and then drag and drop straight onto there and add. Now what we're going to do is we're going to paint on our actual terrain. So click on terrain, paint tool, select your uh, asphalt. Now let's, uh, let's change these settings here. Let's have target strength as one, but let's have our brush size as, let's have it as 24. Okay. And let's have opacity as full 100. Let's change the brush as well. At the moment you can see it's kind of faint. So it kind of fades out towards the grass at the edges. If we have the more solid one, it's very more prominent at the edge. So I'm going to stick with the I'm going to stick with this solid one, but I'm going to decrease the size of the brush to about 10. So to paint, all you would need to do is hold down the left mouse button and just drag like so. So you can see there that we're painting at least some form of track. And you can kind of give a bit of a mixture on there. So if you want a little bit of grass to show through, say, in one particular section, we can play around a little bit. So let's drag this and just create something. I'm just going to do this quickly. You can obviously take as much time as you need to on this. And let me see here. Let's have the grass selected. Let's have the opacity as about 10 as well. And you can see that if you do that, it just barely marks where the asphalt is. So you can kind of have a mixture working together there. And you can do that with different things. So if you click like that, you'll see it does that. But if you click and drag, it'll still do that. Now we should be able to reduce our target strength to quite low. And then you can click and drag that way. So it's about playing with the opacity and the target strength to get a mixture of textures. So if we increase that just a little and do it just there, you can see just here we have a bit of a mixture. So let's bring in our final texture, the rock. But before we do, let's duplicate that. F2, rock 001 underscore N. And change that to a normal map and click on apply. So as we did with the asphalt, edit textures, add texture, drag and drop the rock, and then drag and drop the normal map, and then click on add. And I am going to select this tool, shrink the brush size a little, increase the target strength and increase the opacity, and just have a bit of a rock, rocky edge just along there. So you can take the time that you need just to create certain bits of it. Like I said, I'm not, not doing anything too fancy at the moment. You can use uh, the arrow keys or if you uh, find it easier to do that. You'll find different ways and different shortcuts that you can use just to make life easier within Unity as you play with it and become used to different things. Okay, so we can see I've got sort of a track being built up here. So let's go back to this normal map, for example, on the rock. If I change that to grayscale and click on apply, you'll see it gives it it's kind of like a better-ish sort of rocky look, which I quite like actually, so I may stick with that. But I think I'm going to turn the grass back to a standard normal map without the grayscale. So let's now play with the in fact you know what i may leave the asphalt as that as well and i'm going to edit texture on the grass 
and I'm going to increase the smoothness and metallic look of it just a little. Actually, do you know what? I think I may actually keep it as a grayscale, but I'm going to reduce the bumpiness. So I'm going to bring the bumpiness down to about 0.05-ish and click apply. And I think that, that looks slightly better. Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that. Some of this may be covered in the future, depending on how we use um, another option on the terrain. These ones here with the place trees and paint details. But we'll go into them possibly next episode. So let's have a look at this asphalt. Let's change this. So let's edit texture. And let's increase the metallic and smoothness just a little to about there and click on apply okay so we've started building somewhat of a track here feel free to explore different options and bring in a couple of other textures just to bring you know some life to this uh, scene as it were so I'm going to raise up the terrain here um, let's have a paint height uh, let's have uh, let's see two maybe on the height there and let's just raise up the rocks just here so what we may need to do here is raise it just a little more so we put three there and let's raise it to three just along here and I'm going to raise it to five there Let's do the same here, just to give it a bit of a life, that's all I'm really doing. You can take as much time as I always say. So I'm going to decrease that to about three there and just have three the rest of the way along there. Okay, so let's bring in a car now. I'm going to use something uh, which is already pre-built into the standard assets and if you go to your assets window right click and go to import package and let's click on vehicles this will take just a second to think about it but if you don't have that option to import head over to the unity 3d website and download the standard assets package for whatever version of unity you're using so i'm going to import vehicles here and I'm going to untick aircraft unless you want an aircraft in your game. We may import it at another point just for a bit of fun. But make sure you have car ticked. And then click on import. So, as I say, I'm using this standard package for now. However, there are some um, assets in the Unity Asset Store, which we will explore probably next episode, uh, that you can download. Some are free, some are paid for. It's up to you if you want to pay for things. But logically, you can get things for free. Um, so once it's imported, go into Standard Assets. Once it's had a think. Into Standard Assets, Vehicles, Car, and then Prefabs. And then you can bring in this little thing here, which just says Car. Drag and drop. And there we go. We have a very simple car. It's crude, but it works. There's also ways and means that you can change this car. For example, you can use this car as a basis and place another car on top of it. So as, although you're using this car, you're actually driving a different car. So I'm going to turn this car around 180 degrees on the rotation. So make sure you have your car selected. Rotation on the Y, 180. So as it's facing that way. And if we press play, we can hear the car, but we can't see the car. This is what I mean by we'll have a little look at the main camera at the end of the tutorial. So to get this camera viewing this car, it is as simple as dragging and dropping onto the car. We will come up with a couple of problems, which I will show you about in a second as we get further along, but we'll solve them in the next episode. So let's set the position to zero, zero, zero. And what that's done is it has brought the main camera dead center of the car so whatever object this main camera is attached to it will come to the center when we do zero 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 
So now let's select this tool here and let's bring the camera up. And now the camera seems to be facing this way, the back of the car. So let's turn it round. So it should be zero, zero, zero on rotation if you've done the exact same as me. And we just need to bring it into position now. So we can see in the camera preview, it's not rendered quite as intended. However, you can see little markings of what would be the car. If we press play, we can see that we now have the camera behind our car. So I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more, pull it up a little bit, and then I'm going to use the rotation on the X. So if we hover our mouse over the X on rotation and pull it across, we can see that the rotation changes on the camera slowly and you can get it into the kind of position you want. So let's press play again and we can see we have a car. Now, we are going to come across a problem if we uh, do what I intend to do this time and we should see. So as we drive, which is fine, if we hit something like this, the camera may not respond quite as we would like. As we can see, the camera's gone a bit funny there. What we essentially need to do is make the camera steady. And that's something we'll look at in the next episode with uh, a little C-sharp script. So guys, we'll leave that tutorial there for now. All I want you to do is build up what you want of your track, where you want it to go, play around more with the terrain. And if you need to, have a look for some textures. And if you really want to, guys, let me have a look what you've built because I love seeing what people have built from these tutorials. It really is good to see people learning. So until next episode, thanks for watching guys.